Welcome back, everybody, to Unconditional Surrender, the me, myself, and I playthrough of the main event scenario. Game is published by GMT Games, designed by Salvador Vasta. We are getting ready to go into Western Operations phase of November 1944. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to make sure I don't overrun any of my time here. So I'm trying to keep my videos to reasonable times for everybody to view them, roughly around 30 minutes or less. <clears throat> what are we going to do with the West? Yuck. Um, well, so I'm not tempted to do something really stupid. I'm going to go ahead and fly the bomber up in Newcastle on two, on a, oh, on one bomber mission. No, I'm not. Because I might get really super lucky. Will I get super lucky? I don't think I'll get super lucky. You think I'll get super lucky? I don't think I'll get super lucky. Okay, we're going to have the... British start off this nonsense. I'm going to activate these two guys for three points. And they're going to assault this panzer. Um, the panzer is plus three. Plus two for being an armored, plus one for being um, an armored. The British start off at plus one for being British. The armored unit up in Amsterdam is the primary. Uh, Plus one for being British, plus two for being armor, or plus one, I'm sorry, for being armor. And then you get plus one from a buddy. Um, they are going to The Germans don't have anything in range to help this guy, so it's just up to me to play whatever I want to play. I am holding off on the surprise attack marker. But I think I'm going to go ahead and throw a tanks marker here. Well, am I going to do? Am I going to attack right away? Do I need to move some airplanes around? Um, I didn't bring down the second area, so it'll have to be this one. So yeah, we'll just do this. So we'll go ahead and resolve it. We'll throw an airplane in. And a tanks marker on the uh, garrison unit. So that gives me an extra plus one there and a plus one there. So I'm going to do this again because I don't think I took off for weather. Okay, it's plus one for being British and plus one for being armored. Plus one for a two for a buddy because he thinks he's armored. Plus one for the airplane. And then minus one for the weather because there's no terrain in that hex. So it's plus four, two, plus three. Not very good odds, but let's see what happens. 3 plus 4 is a 7. Uh, he has to roll 1. 3 plus 3 is a 6. So, that didn't work. And stuff goes back on the turn track. It's back in December. Um, that's the British. And then we're going to activate Patton and the 9th and the 1st Canadian. So that's two more for the British. And we will attack here the uh, two, three, four, five, six. So he can't reach, he can't do anything about this one. Uh, so we're going to use this American airplane here to help us out here. Um, we are plus one because we're American, plus one because we think, because we're armored is the primary. And then I get plus two for the American armor, plus two for the British armor, and plus one for the airplane, then minus one for the weather, minus one for the city. <clears throat> the Germans start off at a zero, and they can play a tanks marker to give them a plus one. Plus five to zero, plus five to one. What's the difference? Minimum they're, they're going to get is a six. Best I can get is a six. If I take that in, it would only be... Worst I could get would be a 2 if I have the tank. Uh, a 1. If I roll a 1, I'm DD'd or eliminated no matter what I do without the tank. Um, he's at plus 5, so he could actually get all the way up to an 11. So even a plus 1 on 1 would probably still kill me. He's a garrison unit. I'm not going to lose any willpower for it. I'll have infantry that I can move up to try and assault right back. So I think I might save the tanks marker for the East. Do 
depending on where he assaults me. Yeah. Oh, boy, decisions, huh? Um, you know, that's a, that's a factory. Maybe I should try to... At plus five, I'm not likely to hold the hex. Do I need the garrison unit? Boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and save the save the tanks, Mark, and just let him have it. That's so anti-German. I can't reach him. This is not. This is not. This is not fair. I can't reach him. Uh. Snarl, growl, hiss. You know. Well, this is a big decision here because I'm trying to see. The 4th Infantry over here in the east is in a very bad position with no retreat route. The, th the ninth is reduced and is going to probably be assaulted away. I wouldn't waste the tanks marker there. I would waste the tanks marker if he tries to like sort of wave assault into the 11th. So I think I need to hold it for the east. I'm going to have to let the allies have Aachen back and then just try to take it back next turn. Because even if I add a plus one to it, I don't see it stopping them from at least forcing me to retreat. So I don't see there's any reason to save it, because garrison units, are they don't cost me will points. So I'm not going to do anything. Go to combat commitment. Um, he throws in his airplane. I don't do anything. So um, Germans, or allies roll. A three plus five is an eight. And the Germans roll. A oh, six. It held. Oh, by its lonesome. An eight to a six is a diamond. The, the German six garrison defied Patton and everybody else and the Canadians and said, no, not going to get the six. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, next up is the, the seventh. And the first French, and they're going to assault uh, Stuttgart just because it's pro forma. Um, currently, I am, uh, I think I'm a net plus two. Plus one because I'm American, plus one because I'm armored from the seventh army. The French adds plus two, the first French army. And then I'm minus one for the city and minus one for the weather. So right now I'm a plus two to his plus two. And, uh, we go to combat commitment, the Germans are like, uh, I'm not going to waste the tanks marker here, but the Americans are like, we need a success of some sort. They throw in their airplane to give them an extra plus one. So it's plus three to plus two. And Americans roll. A six plus three is a nine. Germans roll. A two plus two is a four. A nine to a four is a DR. So the Germans must retreat. Hmm, where do we retreat to? I think they'll retreat back up this way, along the rail line. Instead of going across the river, because he can't move through here, because there's zones of control. And he will take the hex there. Uh, Strasbourg then costs me two national will. Because it is German. So, there is that. I was really hoping to get Aachen, because then I would be sort of pincering in on the whole Moselle Ardennes forest defense line. And kind of maybe force him back to get behind the Rhine. So I'd have my own little bulge against him, but not to be. Which means the Canadian's going to be vulnerable again next turn. Well, knowing that, since I didn't take this hex, I'm going to go uh, run the American uh, Newcastle thing. He's going to take his two sorties and put bond markers on places where the German Air Force can't interdict me. Just go ahead and get rid of that. This gives me a couple bond markers. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
it would be one, two, three, four, five. Minus two would be plus three to zero. One, two, three, four. And you can fly. One, two, three, four, five. Both airplanes. So we're going to go do some counter air. The American airplane can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's going to go after the Leipzig airplane. They're both starting off at, uh, well, the German starts off at plus two. The American starts off at uh, plus one. Sorry, I got this backwards. The Germans are defending. And then the Germans are minus two for sorties, minus two for weather. The Americans are minus two for sorties, minus two for weather. And the Germans are kind of looking at this like, um, got to use them. Don't know if I'll get another chance. So they're going to go ahead and throw their jets so that they've come up to a zero. And they're basically just trying to stuff the whole American counter-air thing right now and see if they can't do it. The Americans are all six. Minus three is a three. Germans are all a six. So a three to a six is two. So the Americans take two. And the Germans take one. And then their jets go on the turn track for next turn. Um, the Americans now would be, uh, plus one minus six. The Germans would be plus two, but they'd be minus three. And the Americans are like minus six plus one. They're minus five. So best they can get to one. The Germans could possibly get a two for one run them, but I'm just going to try and run up their sorties. So that they, you know, I've got lots of production that I can use. The Germans, not so much. So, so it's minus five plus one. So I get a one. And the Germans are all a two. Uh, minus three is one. So each take one. And then I'm going to do it again. So it doesn't matter what he rolls. He's, maximum he's going to take is one. And he can't do more than one to me, so that kind of takes care of that. And then the British airplane here is going to fly against this one here. So um, the British start off at uh, plus one because they're British, minus two for the weather, minus, so they're a minus five, and the Germans are at a minus four. So it's a straight exchange. Um, and then what the heck, um, I'll activate this guy, get up my actual tracks, take another point off, and I'm going to activate him, and I'm going to activate him. I'm going to go one, two, three, into there, and then it's four for the ridge, five, six for the hex, because it's mountain. Seven, eight, because it's an enemy unit in poor weather. So I just barely make it. Um, I'm starting off at uh, the armor is the primary. Plus one for the unit. Plus one because he's armored. Um, the Germans could throw their armor. I could throw mine. Right now I'm plus four and then minus two. One for the weather, one for the... Oh, I'm minus three. And he's at a zero. So he can get himself up to a plus one. I can get myself up to a plus two. Mm. Reason why I'm minus three is minus one for the hex, minus one for the rigid, minus one for the weather. So, um, I'm really torn on the German thing. I'm really thinking I need to save it for something in Russia, like that 11th. But I really don't want them to break through here either. So I think I'm going to sacrifice the East. I've got more space to give in the East. I'm going to go ahead in the combat commitment. We both commit, and we're both going to throw our tanks markers. So, both tank markers are out in this battle. Uh, I put mine on the 10th. 
So then I am plus one because I'm British, plus one because I think I'm unarmored, plus two from an armored guy, plus one from a buddy, minus one for the ridge, minus one for the weather, minus one for the hex. And he is plus one because he has a tank on him. So, plus two to plus one. All that to just get a plus two to a plus one. And the British roll a six plus two is an eight. Germans roll a five plus one is a six. So, nothing happens. So that made a difference. If I hadn't added it in, the five would have forced me to retreat. So there is that. Turn track, put the tanks markers down there. <coughs> did I take the other? Yes, I did put it on there already. Okay. Just making sure I didn't forget things. And, uh, there's really not anything else to do for the West. So I have to go do my supply. Um, as far as I can tell, everybody can trace back to port, so I just have to do my sorties. So, we'll start off down here. That's 2-4. That takes care of the guys in Italy. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten here. So one, two, whoops. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. And that takes care of that. And we're done with the western phase. And I did not... What have I got? I got 11 minutes left. Um, I think it's going to take me a little longer than 11 minutes to do the, the Russians. So I'm going to end the British turn here. We're going to have three episodes, but I think they're going to be relatively short for this video or for this uh, turn, but I don't want to run over and end up with like a 45-minute video. So that's what we're going to do. Um, that was the Western Operations phase. Uh, did not go well. I managed to pull off a Stuttgart, but um, couldn't push any other German units. I did four attacks and failed miserably. Um, yeah, so... That's the Western Operations phase for November 1944. We will return with the Soviet uh, Operations phase in just a little bit. This is Dren608. If you like my videos, please subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. And we'll be back in a little bit. Bye-bye.